Hi there, my name's Sam, and we're jumping back here into the um, Sims 3 with Mr. Futa. Do you want to finish what you were doing, buddy? He decided it was a good idea to throw one of these away, but not the other. I guess it's technically still good. It looks, looked bad. Oh, bills? Can we pay the bills? It's only three bucks. We can afford three dollars worth of bills. So, it looks like it's a very kind of dull day here. Um, it's not as bright. Oh, that's right. I had to. I downloaded a different lighting mod. I don't know if I like it. It's kind of dark. We'll have to see. You need. Do you need more logic? He needs good logic skill. What was he on? Just logic one. Now we did discover that our this little town down here had some uh, had a chess table, but also it might be fun to like go into town and just like see what's going on. What what is this? Um, <laughs> excuse me? Knut sent a, um, woo hooty text to Nervous Subject autonomously. Sorry, I don't feel like coming over right now. He just tried to do a booty call with Nervous Subject. Buddy. Okay. Well, <laughs> is is this gonna, are we gonna have a, a Knut Nervous Subject? Is, is Knut gonna steal? Nervous from from Pascal. Is that what's gonna happen? Okay, buddy. Let's let's take a break. I'm gonna put you on pause. I think you deserve to be paused for a second here. Um, were there chess tables here at the center? Because that would be nice if everybody we gotta load in a second here. Um, I don't see any. I know that there were some at a different place. Who's this? Who's hanging out? Oh, that's Johnny. Johnny Smith. What are you doing, Johnny? Doing his homework. Oh my goodness, what a good little boy. I just think it'd be nice to try to hang out where there are other people. We can see who who in town is wandering by. I wonder where else there might be like a, a chess table. I don't think they'd be at these lots. I have the lot settings so they don't load too many. Like it helps the lag a little bit if the settings are kind of low for what, how many lots like load in in detail nearby. So that's why a lot of them are very flat and kind of textureless looking, which is kind of ugly, but it makes it so that the game runs a little bit smoother. Who's hanging out out here? Oh, I spun around. Is that... Vidkind, why are you missing hair, Vidkind? Um, let's, let's... Also, what are you wearing? I think he's wearing like a work outfit. Let's give him a makeover here. <laughs> this is my very attractive, yassified Vidkind. Let's give him some good hair. His hair looks a little almost too bright right now, but I don't care. I'm just gonna- we're just moving on here. We're going quick. There he is. There's his normal outfit. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh wait, crap. He was trying to get to- he has- he has work to do. Buddy- oh, that's right. We need to invest- oh, he was still running down the hill. There we go, buddy. Go- you need to make it to work here. There you go. I like how he keeps his little pizza boy hat on, but he puts on his Ghostbusters suit. We, we're still on tier... Yeah, we're on level one of Ghost Hunter still. We need a lot of job experience. I think once this bar gets filled, we'll get our promotion. Pretty sure. Yeah, so we gotta do logic and spirits and investigation. We'll have to see what, like, the cheapest bike is. I guess he still will have to run down the hill, even if he has a bike, though. Oh, I hear the music. Ooh, this is kind of an ugly little house. Interesting. Oh, here's one. Banish. How many are there? Where's my little... Oh, over here. The four. There's a like a mid-range part. I forget what level it is, but there's a point where spirits like um, possess objects and you have to like exercise them from objects so they'll just be like things floating in the house. I'm excited to get to that point. Oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, we didn't sell our spirits yet either. We'll have to see the best way to sell them because that one he just caught is worth 200 bucks. I think we're going to be able to buy him some kind of vehicle. And then obviously other things. I probably should buy other things first, but... He wants to socialize with a vampire. Hmm. I think I'm going to get rid of chemistry lab table. What other likes do we... We have travel abroad. That could be fun, but for right now... I don't think we have any vampires in town, though. Okay. We need... We got one more spirit hiding somewhere. Where is it? I don't see it anywhere. In here? Oh, way over here. A little white one. It's like a little Casper. Go go catch Casper, Fuda. He keeps trying to go home because of the hail. This is kind of an annoying 
weather event to have during this job. Also, why is it hailing in the middle of... Oh, right across the street, there's another one here. Yeah, head across the street, buddy. Oh, he's hungry. We got some apples in his pockets, right? Okay, who we got? Vidkind, why are you... Oh, no, that's not Vidkind. <laughs> he has the same outfit as Vidkind. They must have the same job or something? This is Tristan Legend. Okay. Then Frank Vasily. Okay. Um, a ghost. Oh, there's a ghost right behind him. We gotta get this one. He's just constantly... I'm gonna have him eat something quick in between here. Oh, there's two. These two are just kind of having a date. Look, these two ghosts are, are dating. Look, there's just a horse hanging out over here. He's coming. The horse is coming. He's coming up over the horizon. This is this. I feel like this is The Sims 3 in a nutshell. We're, we're catching ghosts as the wild horse comes running away. He's gonna run right through the ghost. Oh my gosh. That horse is now possessed. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby horse. Oh, no, don't. Good <laughs> Be nice to the horses, Knut. Okay, was that all of them? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Those things were giving me the heebie-jeebies. Looks like you have another job to go to. It says on the clock. Where? Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is Olive Specter's house. We've gotta go save. We gotta go take some ghosts away from Olive Specter. We're gonna go take them and and bring them to our house. They can be. We can take care of the ghosties that Olive is neglecting. Oh, pfft, the way that he just went across the median. Did you? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> okay, taxi driver. Look at all the different color headstones. I didn't know there was like different. Oh, they're facing different directions. That's interesting. Must be the way that they died. Huh. Wonder if that's a mod I have or if that's normal. Where are you going, buddy? You're not good. What are you doing? He's gonna go play with a dollhouse. Oh, that's right, cause he's childish. That's why. No, you need to come catch some ghosties, buddy. What is this? Oh, collect service award? Wait, did we see something about that? Ghost hunting is hard work, but it is nice to know that someone is taking notice. The town of blank would... It, it's just blank. It should be strange town, but anyway. Town of blank would like to reward you with the spooky trophy for capturing 15 spirits in the line of duty. Please stop by City Hall to receive your award. Wow. So all the specters hanging out in here. She's... Minding her business. What are you wearing, girly? That's not what I dressed you in. <laughs> is that like your- is that your houseware? Is that your comfy little houseware? He's gonna pee. Let's see, we need one of three. Okay, he's gonna use all of Spectre's toilet. I'd be careful closing yourself into rooms in this house. Might be a little risky. The flooring in here is- is- is a choice. There we go. We need one more. Where's the- oh, oh wait, that one counted as the last one. Those spirits didn't seem too dangerous, but they were certainly unsettling. Uh-huh. Okay. You're the dangerous one, ma'am. You're the one that's out here murdering them. Okay, he's hungry. Do we not- do we- we are on the clock still. I'm gonna have him eat an apple. When it says on the clock, I think it- well, it doesn't necessarily mean that he has one. I think if it turns red, it means that he's got an active job. But I don't- I don't see one right now. We could go to City Hall and get his reward. Or award, or whatever it is. Award. Okay, he's gonna go in and see what he got. I wonder if it's like a trophy that we can decorate with. He's also lonely. Donate 25 spirits to science. Oh, see that's I think if you donate them you don't get money for them. Let me- let me um... okay. Ah, oh, it's the ghost hunter. Knut Fota. We've been hearing good things about you here at City Hall. Strange, strange business hunting spirits, don't you think? On behalf of the town of blank, I am very happy to reward you with the spooky trophy. Keep up the good work. All right, he's headed home, which is fine. I'm just curious if science facilities here. Oh, wait. Doesn't this mean there's a? Wait. I think this means there's a unicorn. <gasps> Found the unicorn. Oh my god. Orion. His name's Orion. Oh my gosh, look at him. I feel like Knut should own a unicorn. Wait, I want you to come and watch the unicorn. It's very special. Look at, the, look at this horse moment. They're having horse, horse fun. So, donate... 
Donate spirits for scientific advancement. But I don't think I get money, right? Let me pause. Also, that music was very dramatic. Is he watching? He's watching from a distance. Look at him. He hunts spirits and unicorns. Knut Futa. Unicorn finder. Spirit capturer. Spirit hunter. Are they gonna run away? I think they don't like me. But also, all the bushes and stuff aren't loading in right now. Let me pause and let them... Oh, there they are. When he runs, it's like magical. We need to get a picture with the unicorn. Wait, if he just keeps watching... Wait, what is... Oh, he's lonely. Is this gonna help his social a little bit? He needs social. He can he can be friends with the unicorn. Can we let him sniff hand? He's also soaking wet. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen, buddy. Wait, is this good? Oh my god, look at- the, he's like doing little poses. Look at him! He's thinking about coffee. Oh wait, did this- did we- oh, it's 3 a.m.? It's really light out for 3 a.m., isn't it? This is weird. But he got pretty good job experience. Oh my gosh, we made friends. What's this? Wow, a unicorn! <laughs> Knut has heard legends of their beauty, but nothing prepares you for the experience of seeing a live unicorn close enough to touch. Can we befriend unicorn? Enthuse about unicorns? It counts as a super- he's a supernatural fan. It's lighting up right now, so this is like- this is good for him. He's a fan of supernatural things. Apparently the unicorn is considered supernatural. Oh my gosh. Feed- oh, we can feed him one of our apples. We need to feed the unicorn one of our apples. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is amazing. Feed tree. I need to be friends with unicorn. Is this helping our social? It is. It's helping our social a lot, actually. Oh my goodness. Look at his pose. I want this unicorn as a friend. That could be our... Okay. We're gonna do one more friendly thing. I don't know how how long the unicorn stays, or if he stays forever, or if he only spawns in certain times. But I think we need to, like, adopt the unicorn. He's a supernatural- what does he want? He wants to feed him a treat. We're gonna forget about the vampires, we want unicorn. Okay, we're gonna go... Um... He's tired. I'm gonna try- we're just gonna do one thing before he goes to sleep. Let's try and donate a... Thing. I assume donate means we're not going to get money from it. I just want to see what happens. I think the, the unicorn's experiencing a glitch. Because there's like food falling from his mouth. Is it still there or did he spit it out? Maybe he spit the food out. There's some kind of... um. Th oh, there's a deer. Look at the deer. Hello. Oh, the deer turned black. Why did the deer turn black? What is happening? I think this is a texture issue. He had the texture a second. Oh, when we zoom out, he's got texture. When we get close, he doesn't. <laughs> that seems like an issue. Might be my texture settings. I think I have him set a little bit lower. Okay, we're gonna just donate a spirit just to see what happens. We're just donating a cheap one to this uh, very legitimate-looking facility. Oh, he got. Oh, he got. He got the money from it. Interesting. So there's gotta be like a difference. Like so. Wait, let me look at everything we've got. So if I go donate spirits, even if I, yeah, it seems like, are they worth less? Cause we used to, we had one that was worth 200 and I don't even see a 200 on here. There's less than, it's like 320. Hmm. I think for now we're going to sell them directly. We're going to have him go home. He's wicked tired while he's sleeping. Um, I'll sell his things. I do want to, like, take a couple out and just see what happens, because we, we weren't able to name them and stuff. Okay. So he's gonna go to sleep for now. I'm gonna sell... Let's see, what should we keep? Ancient... Lost? I don't know what's what. I think the... Okay, that one's, like, blue. I'm just going to pause for a second. Frightened? Ooh, we can stack them and like collect them. We can have like one of each. 
Okay, I can put them here. I want one of the jealous ones. I think they were green. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Then we're going to sell the rest. I wonder, let's see how much it's going to be. A thousand bucks. Almost a thousand bucks. $99.99. That was a pretty penny. Okay. Good afternoon. Knut Futa, you are starving. All right, that, that fills him up pretty decently. I'm going to have him use his shower in a can in a minute here. And I have all his needs all taken care of. There we go. <laughs> he's, he's washing him and his clothes. Are we going to... I think we can name... What happens, what happens if I... Okay, what happens if I release? I'm just curious. I move, like... Move them separate. Does the ghost stay here? Also, I'm gonna pick up his bowl, put it there. Move to job one. Oh, the spirit can it released can finally rest. Oh, okay. Well, so that's kind of like a nice way to do it. Um, but we're gonna keep these ones as pets. <laughs> Give name to spirit, Ismail. Um, what do we want to name him? We gotta name him or her. I'm gonna name this one Michael. That's a good name for a spirit. Give name to spirit, Kirk. Yes, that's good. So we have we have Michael and Kirk <laughs> as our friends. Can we talk to them? No. All right, buddy. I think I would like you before you have to go to work, which is gonna be pretty quick here. I would like you to try to get some um, logic in. I think I'm just going to have him go right down to this this little abandoned town instead of trying to go all the way into town because last time it took so much so much time for him to get there. I wish he would run down that way, but he's going around, which is kind of a pain. He did not get a chance to play some chess. Actually, there are some Sims hanging out here. I was also thinking eventually it might be worth it for us to like move. I liked the idea of him being up here, but it's becoming a pain for him to have to like run up and down the hill. Because even if we get him a vehicle, he's still going to have to be running up and down constantly. And he prefers this trail versus like just this direct shoot, unfortunately. But let's do a job. Oh, oh, we're at the curious house. This place is full of unsettled spirits. Catch them quickly. Oh my gosh, it's the curiouses. They got a cat. Who's their cat's name? Putty. His name's Putty. I think we're going to get really close to getting a, um, a, a promotion. I think that might be kind of the goal for this episode is a promotion. Very nice. That should be that. Yep. Those spirits didn't seem too dangerous. Okay. I don't know if... I just wondered if we have another... Oh, it's a full moon. Um, was that the earlier job? Looks like he still has another job around. Let's see... Oh, he's got another one over here. Where is it? I don't know whose house this is. It's also a curious household. I think this might be... Um, this might be actually the the curious sisters. Or maybe... I don't know if it's actually the singles. So it's like every all of them. We'll see. Yeah, this is the... This is the curious girl's house. Chloe and Lola. Are you pregnant? Is that a pregnancy outfit? Is Lola pregnant? She looks it. Who is she? Or is that just a work wear? That might just be her work wear. Okay. Chloe's gonna dance. What? Why? Lunatic slap? What is lunatic slap? There's something coming up with Chloe called lunatic slap. What, are, what is happening? Who's slapping who? Why are you... What is that? Why are we slapping Chloe? Kristen's hungry and in a, a weird outfit. Why are you beating the customers? Okay, and this one's pregnant. Aaron is pregnant. Who? Why are you pregnant, Aaron? Oh my gosh. I can't believe you're behaving this way on the job. Do it again and you're through. I dare you. Oh my gosh. You better not be fighting. Can you just- can we just get over here, please? I also forgot to mention that I fixed his lifetime wish. Somebody brought up that um, Knut's lifetime wish was uh, wrong. Last time somehow it got messed up, so. Can I help you, ma'am? Okay. She was just real excited about what was going on there. 
Okay, and there's a deer here. Oh, that one's got his textures. That's good. Okay. Lunatic Embrace? I'm so confused what this lunatic... Does it have to do with the full moon? What is happening? Couldn't... We need to leave. <laughs> Couldn't we need to leave? I also... I don't know if I mentioned, I did set Knut to be bisexual, so whichever way he leaned, um, whichever, whoever he happened to find, you know. I wonder about Mr. Uh, Nervous, because he seemed to uh, have a little bit of autonomous interest in Nervous there. It's one cemeteries. Oh, wait, what? He got another thing? He's got another service award. Why are there so many? This is weird. Lurkin Cemeteries. He's almost gonna get his, um, promotion. I think it would be nice if we were able to save up enough money for him to, like, buy a little house in town or something. I don't know how possible that would be, or a little lot in town, at least. I kind of would like to do that, just because I'm a little bit... Um, these are not... These are all, like, text the textures are not loading for me here. These are, like, cute little houses in here, right in town. I'll have to look at how much they are. I think is nobody lives in this one. Nobody lives in that one. You know. This is a nice little one here. How much does that one cost? Whoops. $61,000. Oh my gosh. I wonder if there's a, like a mod object where you can take loans. This one's 100000 This one's eighty two. Fifty thousand. That one's This is the cheapest one. Because it's got a car and stuff. I bet if I went on the lot and like cleared it out a little bit, it might get cheaper. Anyway, what did we get? Ectoplasm cleaner. Oh wait, new title? Oh, he got his promotion. Congratulations, Knut has been conferred the new title of Ectoplasm Cleaner by the town council. Okay, he makes money, a little bit more money now. He's got the same hours. I'm curious, um... Are we on the clock still? Yes, we are. But we don't have any jobs. Invite Al. Let's call Nervous. I wonder if it's too late. If he would want to come out and hang out with us. Unfortunately, we might have to abandon him for a job. That's the only downside? Let's just go here. Let's just go hang out at the Paul Strange Plaza. I'm not interested right now. Well, okay. Never mind. Let's sell, let's sell these ghosties. Nice, we're getting money from the ghosties. We got two awards. Can we, does he still, I guess he can still read, oops. That wasn't what I wanted him to read. He can still read this logic book and gain skill. He's not high enough where he doesn't, he can't gain anything from it yet. Let him just do that until it's time for him either to do another job or just go home. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he got his skill point and his job is done for the day. How are your needs? They're okay. Is our unicorn friend around? Or does he leave? They like to hang around water, I know that much. I don't see the unicorn sparkles in the sky. I don't know what time they usually spawn or like what the deal is. Also, this is this lot here. I'm gonna have him visit this. That lot is an abandoned motel that you can hang out at. I thought that might be a good place for him. I forgot about that. There we go. Look at our, our loading in. Yeah, see, it's just a, a hotel. It's really neat because they made, like, this this empty, like, junky pool down here and stuff. Like, it just looks really cool, but it's just an abandoned motel. He could, like, be living out of this place. I completely forgot it existed. I'm spinning around the camera too much right now. There's also a fridge. Like, he can eat. He can sleep. Maybe he should just sell his lot and, like, live on some little teeny lot. And then we can just have him camp out here until he has enough money to buy a house. I mean, or I guess he could technically just live at his lot and then... But just stay here. Like, what if I went to... Because I think there's even showers there and everything. Where is the... Also, this looks... This is neat. This looks like a... Like a, um... Crash site. I'm literally gonna go like this. I'm gonna take... The only thing is his bills will be all the way up here, and he won't be. We're gonna sell this. Mm, I'm gonna sell his, his thing, and then I'm gonna keep these in his inventory. I feel like this is just like a little bit of an easier, because I'm, I'm tired of watching him run up and down the hill, <laughs> to be honest.
and then we'll have to check for his bills every once in a while. I can probably just like drag them to him or just figure it out somehow. We'll just leave this lot like this up here and we're going to hang out and live over here at the abandoned motel. Also, it's leisure day. I don't know if that means he gets the day off. I don't think so. It still says 12 hours till work. But he's got a shower and, and everything he needs here. I'm sure technically for like rags to riches, this is like major cheating, but I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I just like the storyline of him trying to find somewhere to take care of his needs and everything. And he finds this little abandoned motel to just camp out at. Oh my gosh, look at his needs. Why are his needs so bad? Wait, what is this? Phone withdrawals? Okay, he's addicted to his cell phone and he's very hungry. Okay, you need to get up for right now. I'm gonna have some cereal. God knows how old the cereal is, but let's have the cereal. Also, why are you wearing your, like, workout wear? He's very, very odd. He's an odd boy, this one. I guess we'll play on our phone. He likes his phone a lot. He's broken it. I didn't realize he dropped his phone. Look, it's broken. When did he do that? He is, is he clumsy? He's not clumsy. I'm going to have him call nervous and they can just chat. And they'll just kind of build up their friendship a little bit, their relationship. I don't know if nervous is officially in like a relationship with Pascal. I'm not sure. Hey, nervous, just calling you from the uh, abandoned motel bathroom. Uh, wanted to, how you doing? Okay, well that that lasted a little while. They boosted their friendship a little bit. What you what you got? Oh, you got a he's got books. You know what, buddy? I would rather that you read your logic. Where's your oh logic book? I think he once he gets to level three, which is going to be the next skill point, he can't read this book anymore. I'm pretty sure. Oh, who's calling you? Answer phone. <gasps> it's nervous calling back. Wait, we need to talk to nervous. His two best friends in the world are Nervous Subject and Orion the Unicorn. Well, alright, that was a nice little conversation. We are going to get back to reading. His job's about to start up for the night here. Oh, wait, one day, one hour? Oh, because it's leisure day, maybe he gets the, the free day off. Wait, do you think Nervous would come over with us? You want to come hang out at the abandoned motel with us, Nervous? Come talk to us. Oh. I mean, he called us earlier. Sure, sweet. I don't know why his, his like, mood is so low. Because he's having summer fun. He's clean. He's, he's a phone junkie. I don't really know why he's, like, unhappy. Can we go here? Is it because things are dirty or something? I mean, things don't look dirty. They're made to look dirty, but they're not actually dirty. Is that him? Ooh. Is that him? Nervous... Oh my gosh, look at you. I'm pretty sure I gave him a different hair. And he's got like a random hair for this outfit, which is interesting. This interesting outfit. I do like his mohawk. Where are you going, buddy? Friendly. Ask about day. We need to chat with Nervous. Please don't leave, Nervous. Where are you going? Where are you going, Nervous? Okay. He decided to run out here. So you can see in his little icon, he has a little bit of a different hair. Although I really like his mohawk. Wait, Knut is too depressed right now for humor? I'm confused. Why is he... Is this like his unlucky trait? What is mood, is mood meter sad? So he's sad right now. And I don't know why he's sad right now. Doesn't like show me a mood lit or anything. This is weird. Is it this lot that makes him sad or something? Like, why would it? Why would he be sad? Should I try? He doesn't want to be romantic, but I kind of want to try because he did a, a woo hooty. Let's make a flirtatious joke. Let's see what happened. I'm just thinking about earlier when he tried to send a woo hoo text to Nervous and got rejected. What is Nervous's? Uh, oh my! Oh uh, wait, what? <laughs> Aaron. He has a his, his so Aaron Beaker that we saw pregnant earlier is pregnant with Nervous Subject's baby most likely cuz she's he's his partner is Aaron. Is he going to cheat on us? Cheat on Aaron with us? I'm just going to let them do their own thing. I wonder if they'll eat at a restaurant. Ooh, they could go eat together somewhere. 
Where should they go? He's hungry. Let's go. Is this this is considered a restaurant? Visit lot with date. With oh, I realize they're considered dating right now. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Doc and mm -hmm. Awkward. Oh, oh, Barcino. What's the matter, nervous? He's nervous about uh this date. We're gonna get in trouble. I love how nervous his mohawk sticks out of the top of the car. Okay, are we allowed to like eat? Wait, where's the? Supposedly there's a bistro here. I'm gonna let the lot load. I don't see it. Who's this? Buck Grunt is down in this grungy little pool. <laughs> I don't um. I don't think this is an actual restaurant, you guys. Oh, here's one. Eat here. Eat here with date for 75 bucks. Sure, why not? Sorry, nervous. We were misled. What does he change into? What is this, your little outfit you just changed into? Is that his formal outfit? Okay. Whoa. Thanks, nervous. Oh, now somebody's calling him. You know what? That's all right. Oh. We're going to ignore. Ah. <laughs> He's mad because uh, Loki's here. They're going to go eat together. Hey, I think Nervous just farted. That's great. This is good. This this day's going good. <laughs> oh, what's this? A busboy tripped and knocked his entire cart of desserts all over you. Do you want to yell at him or be kind? I think Anut would be kind. The busboy apologizes profusely and assures you that your meal will be on them. Additionally, you are given a complimentary group serving of the finest bank baked angel food cake to take home. Well that, well, that worked out. Help investigation? What? Golden Llama? Improved career performance? A raise? You know what? Sure. Why not? <laughs> we have to go to the police station. Is that Jill? That's Jill Smith running on by there. Okay. Well, we came out. Um, I don't know if Nervous is coming out. This is quite the little outfit we got on. This is looking cute. Okay. Maybe, um, can we get a, can we kiss? I don't think we can kiss. <laughs> Nervous the player over here. I don't know if Nervous is the one we really want. He seemed to have the thing for Chloe a little bit, but he kind of didn't do it right. Maybe Chloe would be a good, um, single option. I think this, maybe this Nervous might just be a fling. <laughs> I think we're gonna... Maybe we'll say goodbye. We'll end the date for now. Oh. There we go. We had a little casual date with Nervous Subject. He's just our little fling, our little side fling. He's being forgetful. The, the character <laughs> file. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is... Okay, bud. Okay, so I think that might be a good place to end this episode. Uh, <laughs> so we we got a promotion. We found a new place to live at the uh, abandoned motel. And we went on a date, a little fling with Nervous Subject. We gotta figure out who he actually wants to be with, though. I feel like... Because the thing is, is I kind of would like for somebody that he can, like, have biological children with. Because I would love, like, actual Knut children. Unless we were to figure out some some other way, technically I could make um, like same sex pregnancy happen, but it's actually kind of complicated to get it to work in The Sims Three. We tried it before, but yeah, I wonder about some of the singles girls. Obviously, Aaron is no longer single. Single. He's trying to go home. Technically, his home is nothing now. So I'm gonna bring him to the motel, and that's where we'll we'll leave off with him. All right, buddy. Here, we're going to put you to sleep again. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Uh, we had a fun time here. I'm enjoying playing with this sim, figuring things out. Uh, I think we should also adopt a unicorn. That was the other thing we did. We adopted a... We, we made friends with a unicorn. This has been quite the episode. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.